con Pau. I'm a student, so Pau didn't know that I had watched four games on him, and I knew he liked to use his left hand, and I knew he wasn't a physical player, and I didn't think that he can keep up a certain level for four quarters. So, you know, I tested his stamina a little bit. People wanted to really go at him and test how tough he was. So Pau had to learn real quick that either he stands up for himself and says, look, you know, I'm not the one to mess with, or it's going to be a real long career. Kevin Garnett's a ferocious player. If you're going to go at Kevin Garnett, you better come hard. He had a quiet animal within him. And just like any beast, when they're quiet and they're sleeping, if you rub his head really hard, you're probably going to get your hand bitten off. Pau hizo una jugada estratosférica en la cara de Garnett muy buena. Come on, Grizzlies. Make a run here. Garnett's wanting to go. There he goes. Oh! Es una jugada clave para ayudar a la difusión del nombre y de la imagen de Pau Gasol en todo el mundo. The Spanish Inquisition. Gasol says, he pass a big ticket. It was thought of that he'd be a non-physical player, not be able to handle contact, but he quickly demolished that thought. Every kid out of Europe had the soft label. And I thought that dunk was Pau's arrival. You know, basically saying, no, I'm a baller. Uh, and he was. He's a lot stronger and a lot more physical than he's given credit for. It was, it was sort of a moment like, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm here. And I'm not going anywhere. Every time we've ever battled, I felt like I'm getting his best right now. Because nice that we actually made, I felt like, man, whew, man, this, this motherfucker bringing it, you know? Like, it's, it's just on another level. That was a terrific